Hi, I'm from Lithuania, the Peterborough of Europe. I moved to UK because I love British culture, I love British people, I love British comedy, but mainly because I couldn't get a green card to the United States. Anyone affected by the cost of living crisis? Yeah. Ten honest people. Everyone else came to the cheapest comedy show in London for no reason. So because of the cost of living crisis, I got into the hustle hard motivational culture, started following a lot of these motivational influencers on TikTok and Twitter. So now I wake up every day at five in the morning, visualize success, write my affirmations. I plan to change my legal name to build different. <laughs> Middle name Savage. I don't run from challenges, I invite them into my life. <laughs> so now, I call British gas every day. <laughs> and ask them to increase my utility bills. <laughs> because that will make me hustle harder. And speaking of cost of living, if I go to a store and see someone shoplifting food, I just pretend that I didn't see it. If I saw someone calling security on the shoplifter, I would call the police on them. <laughs> for being a fucking snitch. <laughs> yeah. It's tough out there, so do what you gotta do to survive. If you need to steal some french fries and olive oil from Lidl to feed your kids, fucking go for it. <laughs> Take some tiramisu too. <laughs> Live a little. <laughs> yeah. We have a few immigrants in the room and as you know, the government wants to slow down legal immigration by not allowing overseas students to bring their families to live in the UK, and I think that's great. Because just imagine, you learn English as a second language, you study hard, you pass your exams, you go for a tough application process, you get accepted into university, you get your visa, you move out, you're finally free, and then your fucking family comes to live with you. <laughs> That's an immigration policy that international students always secretly wanted. <laughs> now we don't have to think of an excuse of how to say no to their families. Like, I love my family. Well, I like my family. I guess I'm okay with my family. But if he decided to move to UK and come live with me, I would have him deported myself. <laughs> I don't regret what I just said. Anyone like shopping online? Nice, five people like shopping online. Everyone else is fighting the system. <laughs> I love shopping online, love shopping online. I love Amazon, I love Amazon. I love big corporations in general. <laughs> I do, because I think small businesses are way too overrated and get too much respect. Like you go to some small hipster cafe, you pay nine bucks for a bad cup of coffee, you get a lecture about climate change from the staff, and you feel guilty for being there. You go to Starbucks, you get exactly what you paid for, and you feel happy. And that's why we, collectively, as a society, go, wow, Starbucks is so good at what we do. So good at what we do. They should pay less taxes. <laughs> but let's be honest. If your small business was so amazing, it wouldn't be a small business. <laughs> Would it? It would be a corporation. <laughs> I think it's even worse when someone says that they are proud of their family-owned small business when someone goes, oh, my family owned this bakery for three generations. You shouldn't be proud of that. <laughs> that just means that your family has failed to grow their business. <laughs> for three generations. Your family is objectively bad at business. <laughs> Your family had three generations to make something out of themselves. And they fucked it. <laughs> if your family was good at business, TV show Succession would be about your family. 